Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations and I have my very first Happy Mail to share with you. Um, I actually received this in the mail like about a month ago, maybe about two weeks, so maybe a little bit over a month ago, like two weeks before my wedding. And it came and I was like, oh, and it came from my shipping buddy. I'm like, did she order something that she wants me to send and she didn't tell me? <laughs> like. Do I have to send it? Like, I wasn't quite sure. And then I opened it and I looked at what was inside and I was like, Oh my gosh, she sent me a happy mail! And I thought it was just so incredibly sweet of her. So, this is from my friend Kim and her YouTube channel is Kim8Miss, M-I-S. And I've been getting her stuff for her and shipping it to her, but she lives in uh, in Malaysia so she has really expensive shipping from a lot of the stamp companies. But I think that lately they've had some cheaper cheaper international shipping because she's been getting a lot of her own stuff now um, but I think Paper Trade Inc. Um, got a cheaper shipping method for overseas people but anyway I would ship stuff to, she would have stuff sent to me because you get free shipping a lot of times to the United States and then I would just ship it to her in one of the UPS packages or, I'm sorry USPS packages because I live right across the street from the post office um, and so she decided to send me like a little thank you gift slash, I mean she always, she always pays me back for shipping, but she decided to send me like a little thank you gift slash like a, um, a wedding, like congratulations on your wedding kind of dealio. So I wanted to show you what she sent me because she was so super sweet and I love everything that she sent and I can't wait to use it. And I haven't even opened any of it yet because I haven't done any crafting and like, I don't know, since that stamp affair day, I guess, in August, but, um, oh, and, like, I did a ton of stuff for the wedding, like, I was stamping tiles and all that stuff, but otherwise I haven't done a lot of crafting, so I can't wait to use the stuff that she sent me, but she made this beautiful card for me, look how cute that is, and she colored it in, I mean, I'm so jealous because I can't color worth crap yet, I'm working on it, like, let me show you, I was gonna do thank you cards for my bridal party and so I was going to use the Tailored, Ex Tailored Expressions um, the two mocha stamps that are the, the bride and the groom and so I started coloring her and then I realized I didn't have the right colors to do Andy's hair because Andy has black hair because he's part Native American uh, so his hair is like jet black so I didn't have the right Copic so I never got around to finishing this but like I mean that's that's not great like this is probably like my third or fourth attempt with Copic coloring and it looks okay but like look how beautiful her coloring is I don't know, I wish, I'm going to learn how to color like that, but I just love these flowers and the spray right here, and just, and then she, she wrote a really nice message on the inside for me, so, um, that's just, that's beautiful, I I'll love that card, if she just sent me a card, I would have loved that, and this is completely different from, like, my card making, and there's a lot of people on YouTube, especially, like, one of my favorites is Steph, she's Enchanted Steph, um, and she does cards kind of like this, and, it's and like Carol at One Happy Crafty Chick and Bethany Be a Crafty Girl, they do stuff like this too, but it's completely different from like how my cards turn out. So like if you look at like I did this card versus this, like this is so pretty. Like I need to learn how to make cards like this. But anyway, I love this card, Kim, I digress, whatever. Um so she sent me these magnets and she said she loves these magnets and hope she hopes that none came off during shipping. Um but they're magnets that she uses that she loves to use and so I mean, how cool is that? You put them on with the magnet. There's hearts. I think there's three different colors. It's red, orange, and yellow. And then the little teardrops or the raindrops. I love those. Those are so pretty. I can't wait to try those out. They look like really good quality magnets. So thank you for those, Kim. I love them. And then she sent me these are so cute. I don't they have cuter stuff over in like that side of the world. Because I mean Look how cute these are. They're like little Russian doll post, like sticky post-it thingies. Like how cute are those? I love those. And then she sent another one. Little paw prints. How cute. Like look at that. Love it. So, oh FYI, Andy and I are getting a new kitten. I'll show you a picture later, but we're getting a new kitten. <laughs> 
speaking of little paw prints. And then she sent these, they're seals. So you're using the seal things, obviously. They're sealed up, but you know, there's there's the Eiffel Tower, there's a shoe, flowers, camera. Oh, that's what the, those are all the pictures. So I mean, how cute are those? And you get seventy of them. That's awesome. Those are really cool. I'm excited to try those out. I love this camera one. This little clip one. Je remercie pour votre bonté. I read French, but I can't remember what it said. I thank you for your goodness. I don't, know, I don't remember, but those are really cool. I'm excited to try those out. And then she sent me this. Me, if I can figure out how to open it, so I don't. Okay, I don't want to open it right now, but it's like a, it's like a, th a hangy thing. So something you would hang. I mean, how pretty is that? It's like a giant charm with a tassel thing. I love it. It could be good on like a wedding project. So That'll look really nice. In fact, I made a Kathy Orta wedding album and I think I'm going to hang that off of it. Because it'll look really fabulous on that. And then she sent me lots of ribbon and trim. I love this one right here. Like, Look how pretty that is. Look at that lace. I'm so excited to try that one. And then here's a couple other ones. There's one with flowers. And the polka dots. I love the polka dots. And this one. Oh, this one's really pretty. Right here. The cross, cross lines. I love that. Oh, and this one has a back. Oh, well, it doesn't have a back, but like, look how cool the back looks, too. I love that. So she sent me some ribbon. Some other ribbon in there. Oh, that's cool. That's in there too. Oh, cool. That must be somewhere inside that one. So she sent me lots of ribbon. Love it. And then she sent me some beautiful flowers. It says, these are some of my favorite flowers from I Am Roses. And I've never heard of them before, but she gave me the website. It's www.iamroses.com. And they are gorgeous. So now I can use flowers on my project like she does. <laughs> Look at these beautiful flowers. Look at that. I love those. I might have to order some when I get money. And all the different colors that they have. So those are pretty. And she sent me like a whole bag. Oh my gosh. I love that. Those are so, so gorgeous. Can't wait to try those out. And she sent me a couple other things too. Or she sent, she sent me, yeah, she sent me two more things. I love this. She said, thought you could use these for some wedding picture projects. And I definitely will. Look how gorgeous this stuff is. It's from Creative Crafts. Um, it doesn't give a name. Or anything, but it's just, it's all like wedding looking stuff. Like, look how pretty that is. That could definitely go. And it would match one of the papers that Kathy picked out in that wedding album. This would match it perfectly. And little rings. Oh my gosh, I love it. Hearts. Look at these hearts. Little heart pearls. Trim. Pearls. Little bows. Look at these bows sequins. That'll be beautiful in a wedding album, so I'm really excited to try those out. I love them. Thank you, Kim. So yeah, she's thinking about my wedding. How sweet. And then, a couple of videos ago, when I did my Tailored Expressions order, and I had like six of their mocha characters, I had said that I didn't have a lot of money to get into like a new stamp company right now. And I've been, I wanted to learn how to do Copic coloring, so I was buying... Um, the mochas from Tailored Expressions, and so she, um, she thought of me, she said, I've only used the stamp once and thought it was feeling pretty neglected, and she said, you didn't want to invest in a new, a whole new set of stamps for coloring yet, so I thought you could practice with him first, and then 
She sent me a greeting farm stamp. His name is, is it Ian? Hello, Ian. And he is adorable. Look at his little plaid hat. He's ready for fall and winter. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try coloring him, Kim. I love him. And I love all the little greeting farm stamps. But like I said, yeah, I, ha I don't have any money right now. So I haven't like invested in new stamps. Especially because I don't have a lot of Copics yet. But I'm definitely excited to try coloring with him and see how I like their stamps. And you know, she only used it the one time. So it looks brand new to me. Like Another reason I don't. I haven't bought any greeting farm stamps because I think you have to cut them out yourself and I'm afraid of cutting my stamps out because I did it once on my on like my personalized stamp and I didn't cut it right so now it doesn't stamp right but I think this is thicker than those so yeah I he's adorable I mean look how cute look how cute he is and he's a really good size you know look, there's my palm. So I'm excited to try him maybe for some fall cards if I get my butt into gear and start stamping again. I am taking like half my craft room with me to my parents' house. I don't care if there's no room for it. I'm taking it with me. My sister keeps telling me I have to put it all in storage. And I'm like, screw you. It's not going into storage. It's coming with me. This is my life. I'm not putting my hobby and my life into storage. So some of it will go away, which is sad, but I don't use half my stuff. So like I'll bring my stamps and my like my paper tray ink and my Stampin' Up paper and like my paper packs from paper tray ink and my Stampin' Up paper like pattern paper but like all my 12 by 12 die cuts with the view packs and like a bunch of my embellishments that I don't use and stuff my Cricut cartridge like the boxes will go into storage like I have a bag that has all my Cricut cartridges in it well I haven't used my Cricut cartridge in forever but like I don't know so hopefully when I move in and unpack all my new craft stuff at my right, unpack my craft stuff at my parents house I'll re go through and see what I have and start playing again so I'm excited to try him but anyway that was my happy mail from Kim thank you so much Kim for thinking of me around my wedding and just I can't wait to try it all I'm gonna have to look through I'm gonna have to find some stuff for you to send to you as a thank you oh, you started it so anyway that's my happy mail I love it Kim thank you everyone go check her out she is Kim 8 Miss and I asked. So, um, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.